the question I want to ask is, is it possible to use art forms as a means of uh, analysis? And I think that I can answer yes to that question. Um, and I'm going to um, show uh, you a little about how I've been working with these things. Now, what I've been, I've decided to take um, a few situations from my field work uh, where I am observing um, different kinds of interaction. Um, I'm going to compare two uh, situations, two kinds of situations. One where there is an adult uh, monitoring of the uh, activities and another where there is a non-adult monitoring. So um, my uh, thesis is that there is a um, there is a question about uh, agonism, about uh, uh, about the the kids competing about stuff, and I want to examine how do these uh, th questions about agonism unfold in these two different kinds of situations. So what I've been doing is to take um, now I've been setting up my um, my um, my uh, tool, uh, which is a um, uh, software that I have developed myself, um, and what it does is that it takes uh, sounds and form them with other sounds, basically. So um, now I've just worked on setting it up, and, and uh, so I'm going to roll, run you through this uh, program. I called it bio cassette uh, which means something around the lines of uh, bio cassette like uh, it's a um, allusion to the idea of the cassette recorder the uh, tape recorder the old-fashioned analog tape recorder that records stuff but this is a bio uh, that is to say it records life and it can play live hmm. that's the idea so how it works is that um, I have uh, recorded a number of uh, more or less arbitrary guitar uh, sounds using my Yuku Lele, Lele guitar, Guitar Lele it's called, and um, it sounds like this. So these are the uh, loops that I've recorded in themselves. These are running like loops, they're just going on. Now what you see up here, this is a recording of my voice going ba ba ba, which is from, uh, it's an interaction between two kids. So one kid goes ba ba ba, and the other one goes ba ba ba. And what they say is something around the lines like, uh, I have a small one, and the other one goes, I have a big one. And they're kind of maybe competing, maybe comparing, maybe playing. So this is the basic uh, motif of my analysis. Now what I have in these others are recordings of that, 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 some kind of rhythm. This is a slower rhythm going on. Uh, I don't recall what I did there. And this is also, you can see this is a rhythm. So these are not sounds in themselves. These are analyses of sound. So what you see here is the pitch curve. And uh, what you don't see is the dynamic curve down here. Uh, this is pitch curve, do do do, and space, so silence. Anyway, so what happens is that these uh, up here can be combined with these down there. So you remember the um, this sound, right? So if I combine it with A. Let's put this. Let's put this in the left um, speaker. I don't have two speakers now, but it doesn't matter. So let's combine this one with that one. Mm -hmm. 
So what you already noticed is that this is a loop of a form, uh, a generic form you might say, and this is a loop of a sound. So this loop will form that sound, but as you can see they are not necessarily the same length and so on, so you would never have the same repeat. Maybe this loop is that short and that loop is this long. So when they repeat they don't repeat in the same uh, in a in a matter where they can mm, repeat the same thing never ever so um and there you have all these things going on at the same time so let's make these two voices or players the the f f the most uh, prominent ones we can also combine with more players so we'll say here you have that sound is played is forming these two different sounds maybe this one as well and this uh, uh, form is forming let's say these two I can't do that and this one as well so what you have now these are these two forms they are forming um, different this one is forming these three that one is forming these three. So this is a way of combining things. We can also swap around and so on. But the basic idea is that you have um, patterns that are kind of in the background and sometimes they will pop up. So let's put for example the D and let's combine it with this weird sound down here. So what we have is a repeated pattern here and some repeated patterns here. Now what you might have noticed is that these uh, repetitions they are not um, repeating the same way ever and sometimes you would have a combination where the pattern the form behind these orange ones it will make a specific sound jump out very very um, str uh, with a very very high volume volume so this is what sometimes will happen and I think that this it makes sense to think of these this analysis in in a way where um, it it is an emulation of life in the sense that you have um, in a given environment you have different kinds of energies that are uh, there potentially but uh, different circumstances will have them jump out into the open and will be present to people um, and this is both what happens with you know the environment around us like the the sounds of the or the movements of, of things in our environments like the leaves on a tree or the wind blowing and these kinds of things which are also kind of uh, arbitrary things and then you have the interactions between people and this is a I have I have here some basic uh, interactional uh, forms which is like da, 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 and the other one da, da, da. these are possible uh, interactional forms and they are being played out in an environment where it makes sense now um, so what does this analysis do 